Hello beta testers, today I'm excited to present to you for the first time Elementor Pro 2.0 beta, which includes many amazing new features. To get this beta, go to Elementor Tools and under version control, switch on beta tester. Now, under the dashboard, you should see an update to update for the new beta. Now, this is still a beta, so you might run with some issues, but I recommend you test it only on dev sites. This version works on all themes, but we've run most of our testing on GeneratePress, so that's the theme I recommend you use for testing. It will also work on Astra, Hestia, OceanWP, all of the other themes. So the first thing I will show you how to do is how to change the header. If I go now to my site, I see uh, that it displays the logo of the site and the default GeneratePress header. Now to change it, I'll go to Elementor, My Templates. Here I see a new screen prompting me to create my first template. I have six different templates to choose from. I have page, which is the page we all know, section for saving blocks, and four new templates, header, footer, single, and archive. Let's go on and create our header. I'll call it my header. Now I'm transferred to Elementor and I see it already opens the library blocks under the uh, filtering of the header. So I can see the two options of the header that I have. In the future, we will have more options to choose from. Let's insert this header and you see that it inserted it in the right place. My header now has this menu and this image. Now this is a static image but I also have a new feature called dynamic data right here, which lets me get dynamic data from my theme. So if I click on it, I can choose what I want to add. Let's choose site logo. And you see now the updated site logo is displayed in my header. When I'm finished with the result and I want to publish my header, I click on publish. And now I see a new screen called display conditions. This sets the conditions where my header will appear throughout my site. So if I add a condition to display it to the entire site and click publish, it will update my header throughout my site. And I can go and uh, preview the live site and see that everything is working nicely. Now let's go back and I'll show you how to create the single post. So I'm back to in the My Templates page and I see all the tabs that I talked about, about the different template types that we have. Let's create a new single. Call it My Single. Here again, I'm transferred to the blocks pop-up and I can choose the single blocks, uh, the single post blocks uh, here. Let's choose this one, click insert. Now I see my uh, single post block and again I can choose the dynamic field, the dynamic data to come from my site. So for the header I can choose the post title. I have here the featured image and I have the post content. So these are the new widgets that we have but now it it displays a placeholder and I want it to display a preview of what the actual result will look like. So I'm going to the icon, the eye icon right here and under setting, I'll preview the page as a post. Choose one of the posts from my site. Click on apply and preview and I see that it shows me the version with the content, the preview with the content and all the content already inserted. Again, I hit publish and add the condition. I can choose whichever condition I want. Let's have it on all singular posts. Hit publish. Now I can go to my live website, to my blog, and every blog post now received the same design. If I add a new blog post, it will also get the same design that I created earlier. 
let's go on and create an archive template so add a new archive template this is the option that I have I click insert and I can design my blog my archive page I have here a new widget post archive and choose however I want to customize it once I'm happy with the result hit on publish and again add the conditions that I want I can choose a category a tag let's choose all archive and publish now when I go to the live site I can see that it has been updated with my new design finally let's create a footer call it my footer choose this block again it's so easy notice how easy it is to edit the different areas of your website I can change anything right here once I'm done with the result I publish it you see I've taken care of different areas of my site my header, my blog, my footer, and my single post. As you can see, building the entire website is just as easy, visual, and fast as creating any page in Elementor. I invite you to test these features out. Let us know what you think of the new process of building a website. If you find any bugs, let us know. This is not a tutorial for all the possibilities of Elementor 2.0. It's just a rough draft to get you started uh, as our beta testers and finding how well it works and starting to experience it and letting us know if you find any issues. Thanks for helping us test Elementor Pro 2.0 beta.